guys, Scope Scripter here, back with another video. And this video will be part three for how to make a horror game in Roblox Studio. So, in the other two videos uh, in this series, I showed you how to make the main map and how to make the lobby. But I never showed you how to connect the two and make it so that when the player presses play, they teleport to the main game. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to want to go up here to the View tab, right up here, and you're just going to click that. And then you're going to find either Asset Manager or Game Explorer. For me, it's Asset Manager, but some of you might have Game Explorer. Either way, click either the Asset Manager button or the Game Explorer button. And once you click one of these, um, a list of the places should come up. Now, important note before we proceed with this. Um, if you didn't watch my other two videos on how to do this and how to correctly add places into places in Roblox so that you can create the, uh, you know, levels and games, you know, inside the game, stuff like that, then you should probably go back and rewatch those. But if you watch those two, then you should be good and we can keep going. And you should see a list of places right here depending on how many levels you added. For me, I just have one level, which is chapter one. So I'm just gonna hover over this, right click, and then we're just gonna press copy ID to clipboard. Make sure you follow this step, otherwise this will not work, because it's important that you get the ID for your place, uh, for your main game, because we're gonna be making a script that, you know, obviously teleports the player to the main game when they click, you know, the play button. But to be able to do that, we're gonna need the ID for the game. So just make sure, Go over your place, right click, and press copy to clipboard. Now, once you're done, oh, sorry, once you've done that, we're just going to open up starter GUI right here, and we're just going to open up play GUI. And inside play GUI, we're going to insert a local script, not inside the play button itself, but in the actual screen GUI. So we're just going to go on play GUI, hover over the little plus button, and click that, and just insert a local script. And once you're in here, you're just going to put this script down right here. And this is the script. And this is actually the script that will teleport the player to the main game. So one important thing, though, after you finish copying this down, change this string of numbers right here to your place ID. So again, just go back here, right click on your place, copy to clipboard, and then just paste that right there and you should be all good. That's it, that's all you gotta do. So now if we go ahead and press play, what will happen, we can't teleport to a different game in Roblox Studio, but we can see if this works by simply pressing on the view button um, once this loads in and we can just see the output. And when we press play, we can see if this works. And obviously an error should come up that says can't teleport in Roblox Studio, and if this comes up, then this works. You did it correctly. Um, and yeah, so if we do go ahead and just update this game and try this out in uh, the actual uh, Roblox client, this should work and it should teleport you correctly to chapter one or level one, whatever you named it. So I'm just going to head over to the actual game in Roblox and I'm just going to test this out right now. Alright, so guys, I'm at the uh, place in the uh, Roblox game client, so let's just test this out right now and just make sure that this actually does work. So let's just play. And here we go, okay. So everything's working correctly so far. We have the lobby set up, so let's just press play. The play button. And wait a few seconds, and there we go. It teleports us right to chapter one, which is our main game. And that's it, guys. So that's all you guys really need to know for how to, you know, make a working play button that just teleports the player quite nicely to the game. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. If this helped, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you in my future videos.